Okay, thank you. Uh, so good afternoon. I am Kinga, I am 15, and I go to the second grade of the third uh, high school in Wroclaw. Uh, my extended subjects are biology, chemistry, and maths. And to expand my knowledge on biology and chemistry even more, I go to additional classes every week. From the fields of science, uh, my biggest interest is genetics. Uh, and there are two main reasons why. The first one is uh, because it combines um, all of my favorite subjects, which are biology, chemistry, and maths. Uh, I also think it's the future of not only medicine, but the science in general. Um, I seek opportunities to develop myself in this field, and this is why um, I would like to explore uh, the best universities in uh, USA, and generally in the world, which are, for example, Stanford, Harvard, and Massachusetts Institute of Technology uh, in the field of um, bio, biotechnology. Uh, I would also like to confront uh, my image of what being a geneticist is like with reality. And I hope to have a chance to do it at Silicon Valley because not many people know it, but it is not only an enormous IT center, but also a great gathering of uh, biotechnological companies and industries. Mm. The second reason why I would like to be a geneticist is because it is my lifelong dream to help people. And uh, genetics allows me to do it at the same time uh, being a scientist, which I would really love. Mm. As I said, I seek opportunities because um, I see each of them as a chance to develop myself. And this is why I try various things. Um, my hobbies, uh, my biggest hobby is music. Um, it gives me the sense of fulfillment, joy and relaxation. Um, I play violin, piano and guitar. I also sing and uh, the music competitions I've been to uh, made me ambitious Też uh, u was się zaprosiła pani, uh, pani Kinga. Mm, acting allows me to express my feelings, which I uh, sometimes hide uh, for quite obvious reasons. And then when I pretend to be someone um, else, it's mm, easier to express everything that's on my mind. Um, I used to go to um, theater classes in primary school and now I do it in high school. We have even recently put on a spectacle. Um, and last but not least, uh, my adventures with sports. Um, ever since I can remember, I have felt great passion for skiing. Uh, unfortunately, I can do it only on winters. But I have even recently managed to make it to the second place in lower Silesia level competition uh, in skiing. Uh, I have also tried hurdles when I was in primary school, but um, now I uh, go to volleyball trainings every week. And I think this is my favorite sport. It's best for me. And it also um, allows me uh, to expand my skills at working in groups. Mm, I really hope to mm, meet interesting people uh, because conversations and meeting with other people can be the most developing ed and educational thing that can be. Um, this is also why I really love traveling, uh, because everywhere you can meet really ambitious and passionate people, 
so much different than you and you can learn really a lot about the world you can get a fresh view on uh, many things um, and i hope to find such person uh, such people within other applicants thank you thank you very much thank you very much uh, kinga good time management skills uh, congratulations on that uh, dorota uh, Kinga, thank you very much for your presentation. And my question uh, is about the process of learning. What have you learned about yourself during the process of preparation to that exercise? Mm. I think that um, I now see how much uh, I am doing to uh, develop my mm, very different hobbies. And I also um, see how much work does it take to achieve what you want. Uh, I have also uh, learned how to mm, prepare myself for uh, like, conversations uh, and competitions like this mm. and i think this is it uh, kinga would you change anything in the process of preparation that would you do and uh, something in a totally different way like you know start from a different angle or change something in the process or everything was like okay acceptable and how you assess mm -hmm. I don't think I would change anything because uh, I have been really uh, trying to put my heart and soul into everything I am doing because I don't like to do things mm, just for the sake of them to be done, if you understand uh, what I'm trying to say. Uh, I just like to mm, let them to leave their mark on me, to let them uh, develop mm -hmm. myself, so. Thank you very much for that answer, Kinga. Hi, Kinga, Michael. Uh, the first, my question is from your hobby. Who is your favorite compositor, musician compositor? Oh, um, from classical music, I think it would be uh, Niccolo Paganini. Uh, he's my idol in terms of uh, violin because um, he was extremely talented. One of my favorite pieces uh, is actually written by him. It's like gathering of compositions. It, uh, it's 24 caprices um, and it's his talent was really great enormous i think the best thing that um that says about it is that people really uh accuse him of um signing a pact with the devil because they couldn't believe he was this good at playing violin yeah that's uh, historical but still actual that's the greatest of him and the next question is from your from your uh, presentation and also from your application because you you say that uh, your dreaming is coming is going to the united states and you are writing about the, the nature and uh, the uh, uh, in the united states about the historical buildings but do you have any favorite places where would you like to visit in the national parks or maybe some of the cities where would you like you know if you have one chance to to go somewhere in the united states what did you choose I think I would choose uh, the National Park of Grand Canyon because I have always wanted, uh, I've heard stories, seen pictures, and I've always wanted to uh, see the size of Grand Canyon myself to like experience being this small uh, with such big uh, creation of nature. Okay, that is not so so far from the Silicon Valley. <laughs> America is a huge, but okay. So I wish you to go there and wish to, to, to meet in the Silicon Valley. Thank you very much.
Thank you. Uh, Kinga, my two questions. You you mentioned in uh, uh, your motivation letter an essay about Maria Skłodowska Kiri, mm -hmm. um, and she sacrificed a lot in her life. What is your opinion about this? I mean, should scientists sacrifice their lives uh, for, for 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 the goal, or what what would they set up? Mm, I think it depends of uh, how big the sacrifice is and how ready you are to make it because um, when we are not in um, Maria Skodowska Curie's skin uh, it's easy to judge whether uh, it was worth it or not but um, I think if she made these sacrifices she was ready to make them and uh, really determined to achieve what she wanted. She um, thought they were necessary to, uh, to achieve her goal. And I think this is um, the thing that matters, like if she was ready to do it or not. We as uh, people of science, as people in general, um, like, take advantage of uh, her inventions, have uh, her discoveries. But I think it was up to her whether to decide if it was worth it or not. Okay, thank you. And my second question, uh, one reason, why genetics and not music? This is a hard one. Uh, I've been thinking about it and, mm, Firstly, I think that uh, when music would become my job, uh, I'm afraid I would um, lose like um, some part of being happy while playing it. Like um, when I would be making it for money, I would, um, I would be stressed if I can make enough uh, money of it for a living. And I would just like to experience it without these doubts, these fears. Uh, and also when I first uh, um, had my contact with genetics, it was in uh, the last grade of primary school, mm -hmm. I really started to like it. I don't know whether it was my um, teacher or just this field itself, but it really fascinated me. And uh, like I said, if I can help people and at the same time do uh, what I really like doing, I think this is what should be my uh, career. Okay, thank you very much. And now it's time for quick feedback. Ms. Dorota? Yes, of course, uh, I will start. Uh, so, uh, Kinga, I think the most uh, valuable observation uh, for, from my side is that you uh, express yourself is, is a very, actually, very strong point of your personality. So, the words you are choosing, the way how you express them, uh, it makes a great influence or, or on the audience. Uh, and I, I know that you are self-aware about this. Uh, you, you mentioned that you uh, practice some, uh, uh, some, some art, some, uh, yeah, so, so it, it, it makes it much clearer. clearer. Uh, and I think this is a great value uh, because the, the way how we influence others uh, is a great competence nowadays. So uh, I think it's, a, it's something which makes you much stronger and the logic, uh, the flow, everything was really excellent, and it was nice to nice to hear you and observe uh, how you uh, uh, how you think. And uh, uh, also, I think you you had a lot of uh, uh, reflections during the presentation. That was very natural uh, the way how you shared them with us. Thank you very so much. Thank you for for that, Kinga. You are. In my eyes, you are, you are an example of the sentence, which I heard many years ago, that only busy people have the time for everything. <laughs> so you are, when I'm listening about your skills, when I'm listening to you, 
uh, I'm sure that you are very busy, but I see that you have the time for everything and all what you presented, that's the perfect. And keep this way, I think. Only busy people have the time for everything. <laughs> Sometimes when I get uh, questions from other people, how do, my, how do I manage to do so many things? Uh, I just say that this is my free time. Like I really love doing it and I am glad that I spend my free time on doing these things because they also, like I said, develop me. So. Congratulations for this way. Thank you very much and thank you for this presentation. Yeah, I, I, can only share, I, I can only share the, the, the opinion of, 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 of Dorota and, and Michal. I like your presentation. Good luck. And as we said at the beginning, tomorrow the results will come over to you via email. Bardzo dziękujemy, Kinga. Thank you very much. Pozdrawiamy. Dziękuję bardzo. Pozdrawiamy. Pozdrawiam. Do widzenia.